Hey, my name is Jakub Piesik and today I want to tell you something about the Windows 365. On this movie I will show you what is the Windows 365, how much it costs, what licenses are available for the end users, what you need to do to configure in your environment to start provisioning the first machines for your end users, what possibilities do we have, but what is the most important, we will use the trial license which is available on the portaloffice.com. So let's start. The first topic what I have on the list is the what is the Windows 365. As the documentation said, Windows 365 is a cloud-based service that automatically creates a new type of Windows Virtual Machine Cloud PC for new end users. In simple words, it's a standard PC but in the cloud. Not oh, sorry, not the standard PC but device for which uh, and to this device the end user can log on and use as, as a standard device. Everything what end user need to have is a network connection, mouse, keyboard, some device which will be used to connect to this uh, Windows 365. End user can connect from the Android, from the iPad, from the iOS, from the Windows, from Linux, from Mac OS, don't care which end user, what type of device end user will use, because for, ev for every platform there is possibility to connect to them Windows 365 devices. And that is from my perspective, from the, from the perspective for the end user that is the standard device. When we are on the licensing, we have a possibility to buy two types of licenses, Windows 365 Enterprise or Windows 365 Business. The main difference between the Windows 365 Enterprise and Business version because is that the Business version you can license to one, uh, 300 licenses in your organization. The Enterprise don't have that limit, but if you go to the compare Windows 365 business and enterprise, you will see information that there is more differences between those two versions. As you can see, the Windows 365 business can be joined only to the Azure AD. Enterprise can be joined to the Azure AD, Azure AD joined um, with, without VNet, can be also a hybrid Azure Active Directory join. There is a possibility, there is a differences in costs for the organization. There is a possibility differences between provisioning, policy management. You cannot manage the Windows 365 business for the enterprise Intune MDM. Application deployment supported only if you have Intune license, supported by default. Windows updates are uh, configured by default for users without Intune license. If a user has an Intune license, the, those settings can be edited. If you have the Windows 365 Enterprise, uh, you can configure Windows Update, Device Manager, everything like you do for the standard device. There is much more differences between the business and enterprise. And I will focus on the Windows 365, but I will show you also how to configure and how to build the Windows 365 business for your earned users. If we go to the Proskai services on the portaloffice.com, we see enterprise and business. And if we go to the business enterprise, there's a plan to select. And as I said earlier on the introduction, there's a possibility to get a trial license. It will be two virtual CPUs, eight gigabytes of memory and 120 gigabytes of SSD disk. If you select that, there's a possibility to select only one license and you need to select the start trial, but, after, but that we will do later. Uh, if we scroll below, there is a uh, there is a table with plans and printing. 
the basic license is Tusum Virtual CPU, 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of storage. It costs $25 per license per month. The most advanced plan is 8 Virtual CPU, 32 GB of RAM and five, more than 500 GB on, of storage. And it costs $143 per sorry euros per month if we go to the windows 365 business the plans and printing are similar but you need to select what kind of plans do you want do you want to business or enterprise if you want to just give that devices to the end user select the business because it's much easier to configure but if you want to configure from the beginning to the end and provision everything what you need for the for you end user like you're doing with your standard devices just select the windows 365 enterprise so now we will start creating a trial machine which will be provisioned for our end user and everything what you need to do as is a select the two virtual cpus 8 gigabyte of ram and click the start free trial button. On the checkout site you need to click try now button and after a while the license will be assigned to your account. To confirm that we have a proper license assigned to our account we are going to the billing your products and wait for the load list. When the list will be loaded, you will sh you should see the Windows 365 with the trial license. And for now, this license is not assigned, so we will assign to the specific user. So we are opening the uh, Franek Konefka from the active user. Select the Manage Product Licenses from the top. Scroll on your bit button. Select the Windows 365 Enterprise License, and click the Save Changes button. Now this license is assigned to the end user and we can start with preparing the first of provisioning policy. Now we need to go back to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager, Devices, Windows 365 and as you see there is a no provision on policies for right now. And if we go to the All Cloud PC we will see what machine is not provision and the not provision user is my user which have assigned a license from the couple of minutes. Now we will go to the provisioning policies tab and select the button create policy. On the name we will provide the name of the policy for the provisioning this name will be displayed for the end users on the Windows 365 portal. Description is not needed but can be useful. And now we need to select the join type Azure Active Directory join or hybrid Azure Active Directory join. In this movie we will select the Azure Active Directory join. But later I will show you how to create a hybrid Azure Active Directory join machine or select the different network type. Next step is select the region. We will select the West Europe. Now we need to select the image type. This can be custom image or gallery image. On this movie we will select the gallery image because those images are pre-built by the Microsoft. And we will select the Windows 11 Enterprise with the Microsoft 365 apps. On the next step you need to select the language and region settings. I will select the English United States. But if you have the multiple provisioning policies, like for example for the different countries, you can select for example the Polish. The next step is select the additional services for the managing the Windows updates on the cloud PC. So you can select the known and those updates will be managed manually, but you can select the Windows Auto Path. But on my environment I don't have configured the Windows Auto Path. On the assignment tab I will provide the group for the end user which got this provisioning policies. Clicking the next and now we need to create 
the provisioning policy. Just click create button. And now this policy will be created. And if you go to the R Cloud PC, click the refresh button, delete the status equals not provision, and we will see that information on one machine is on the provisioning status. That will take a while, and we will back to this window later. After some time, the provisioning will be completed and machine will be available for end user. You will see that on the status as is a green mark and provisioned. And that means the user can log on automatically to his machine. We'll, I will show you how to do that. And user need to log on to the special website. It's windows365.microsoft.com. When user will log on, he will see the machine which was provisioned to the end user by the administrators. This is the name of the provisioning policy. User can restart the machine, rename and troubleshoot and get the system information. When user will click on the open in browser, the session will be opened directly on the browser. On this window, user can select what device will be uh, redirected to the device. It can be printer, microphone, or clipboard from the primary device. If user click on the show advanced settings, there will be a possibility to set the alternative keyboard layout. For example, the Polish one or the, or the Dutch, or don't care. If user select the don't show again, that pop up the settings will be remembered. And now the connection is established. User need to log on to the machine and session will be opened. Now we see the standard logon screen to the machine and on the first logon we will see the standard autopilot profile. That means there is a first Phase of the autopilot, I can set up which will take a while, and every police uh, applications, etc., etc., will be deployed to the end user device. And it's everything. End user can start using this cloud PC, installing the application, configuring the Outlook client, and just, just using. And for that movie, it will be everything. Because I show you how to create a first provisioning policy, what you need to configure on your tenant to start using the Windows 365. I show you the differences between Windows 365 Business and Enterprise Edition. I show you how much do you need to pay for the licenses, what licenses do you have, and I show you how the end user can log onto the machine and start just and just start using them. So thank you for watching that movie, and on the next movie I will show you how to configure the hybrid Azure Active Directory join machines for the Windows 365.